This is one way that I teach the strategy counting on using dot cards with my students. I would get two cards. This particular cards are, and hold them up in front of the children. See, there's two cards, okay? And I'd have the class and I would count together the dots on the two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I would ask them, boys and girls, how many dots are on the two cards? And they would hopefully tell me eight. If they tell me something different, then I would count the cards again until they agreed as a group there are eight dots on these two cards. And I would say, gosh, I wonder if there's a faster way to count the dots on these cards. And they might give me some ideas and different things that they think would be there. And then I would tell them we're going to learn the strategy of counting on. All right, boys and girls, how many dots are on this card? And then we would count them. One, two, three, four, five. How many dots? Five. Excellent. Boys and girls, how many dots are on this card? One, two, three. How many dots on this card? Three. Okay. Now, which card has the most dots? Hopefully they would see that the five has more dots than the three. So we would take five and put it in our head. We're going to hold the five in our head. Boys and girls, don't forget it. What number's in your head? Five. And then we're going to start with five and count on. Five, six, seven, eight. Boys and girls, how many dots are on the two cards? Eight. That is right. Let's try that strategy again. Boys and girls, here are two more cards. Okay, let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can we count that faster? Can we do that job any quicker? Hopefully they're going to say we could count on. If they do not, then I would say, remember, we can count on. Which card has the most dots? One, two, three, four. I'm gonna put these dots in my head, four. Remember, don't lose it. What's in your head? Four. And I'm gonna start with four and count on five, six. How many dots are on both cards, boys and girls? Six. Then we're going to move on to two more cards. We're going to do the same process, but this time I might have them do more of the work. Boys and girls, which card do we start with? Hmm, which card has the most dots? Hopefully they notice this one, and then we would count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and put that number in our head. What number's in our head? Six. Start there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many dots are on the cards, boys and girls? Ten. The strategy is counting on, and it's quicker than counting dot by dot. I would continue this until every student was confident. If they just weren't, I would take cards like this and put them in a bag and do small group activities and to build their confidence. If you have no cards, you can also use dice. They work the same way and count the dots. This is one way that I would teach the strategy counting on to my early childhood students.